Elevator maintenance folks, what is the weirdest thing you have found at the bottom of the elevator chamber? My dad has a great story about this. He supervised the mechanics. And one of them called him from a mental hospital and said you've got to see this. The maintenance guy was called because the elevator wasn't quite sitting level on the ground floor. It was about half an inch too high and both patients and staff had been tripping on it. But all other floors were no problem. My dad arrived to find the maintenance guy cackling, looking into the bottom of the shaft. There were probably tens of thousands of magazines down there. They had to get a bunch of shovels, a small crew, and a rolling dumpster to clear it out. When it was all done, my dad decided to stay behind and pretend to read a newspaper while he sat in the lobby. After about half an hour, he sees an elderly patient holding a magazine, shuffling slowly toward the elevator. He stops in front of the doors. Glances left, glances right, and quickly stoops down, slides the magazine into the gap, and shuffles away as fast as he can with a huge grin on his face. My dad could not help but laugh hysterically. This guy had probably been sliding magazines in there multiple times per day, every day, for decades. I should ask him whether he reported it or let the guy have his fun. Wouldn't surprise me if my dad went with the latter. I once accidentally lost my driver's license down the little gap in the elevator doors. Just dropped it and was super unlucky as it slipped through. It turned up in my mail 10 years later. Obviously long expired. But still crazy some maintenance guy found it and bothered retuning it. This question should be my jam. But unfortunately I've never found anything interesting. Two dollars coin once. A dime bag of some unknown drug. Plenty of syringes sets of peas. It's mostly just people's junk mail and empty chip bags down there. Keys. Trash. Bugs if the building is exceptionally itty. Mostly dirt and dust. Found a paint roller that the last guy left there once. It was stuck to the floor. Not a whole lot of weird stuff can make it between the sill and the landing. Well over 1500 tax returns at the bottom of the Atto's North Brisbane office elevator shaft. Worked at a hotel. Guests dropped their phone down the shaft. After a few failed retrieval efforts, we called the elevator guys. They went down got the phone and also found a carton of eggs. Rotten. But not cracked. I don't even understand how that could happen accidentally. Worked security in a large department store. We routinely had to pop it open to retrieve dropped keys, wallets, and phones. Recovered a $2,500 gold necklace covered in poop. A would-be shoplifter darted out of our jewelry department and suitcase the necklace while in the elevator. When he realized we were waiting for him at the exit level he went back up a floor, removed it, and dropped it down the shaft. We arrested him anyway, much to his surprise. My dad was an elevator mechanic for about 15 years. He had a very dark sense of humor and would come home with some of the craziest stories. For example, any time he was in an elevator, he would shake it a little or tap on the displays or buttons and go yep, total piece of crap, inferior piece of crap, and I think he mostly did it to freak people out. One of my favorites, he got a call that someone was hearing weird noises from the elevator. He got inside, rode the elevator up and sure enough, he could hear it too. For half a second he thought it was a baby crying and realized it was a cat. When he got to a certain floor, he could hear this sad meowing. It obviously wasn't in the elevator car, so he got into the shaft and found this little orange kitty. It had somehow, and I don't think he figured out or told us how, got into the elevator shaft and was sitting in a spot between the floors where it wouldn't get crushed by the elevator. But it couldn't get out. My dad saved it and gave it to the building manager to see if it belonged to anyone in the building. It was the one time he ever told us a story that involved him saving an animal instead of finding dead ones. Been in the game 12 years now. Found a full Christmas tree last month. Other finds. 5k and you acute 20 notes. Big ass bag of drugs. Roughly 5 kilograms. Brand new shoes by the box load. Severed finger. Edit. Holy it this has blown up. My most commented and upvoted on reddit. So backstory. Christmas tree was found this year on a council estate in August. Photos was taken for the office as it was rather amusing. I visit this lift every month. The money and drugs was found in the same lift shift around 3 months apart 7 years ago. 
The money was spilt between me and my engineer as I was a apprentice at the time the drugs we handed into security. The shoes was found on a passenger staff lift out the back of JD Sports. Suspect a staff member was sticking them down there and loading into a car at the end of his shift. Police was involved in this one. The finger was found in a very expensive apartment building. We talking 50 floors and millenna plus apartments. Again police and EMG services involved in this one. One time. We were doing a rip out at an old factory. They were gutting them and turning them into luxury apartments. The elevator we were taking out was a ratty old freight that hadn't run in years. When we finally ran it up. We went down to inspect the pit. It smelled like a dead body had chilled there for half a century. The bottom floor wasn't lit so I shined my flashlight under the elevator and the whole floor started moving. Roaches. Nasty. Haven't really found anything fun though. I've cleaned out more pits than I could count to. I gave my mom a cheap ring I found. Found a pair of underwear at a hotel. Found a full packet at a courthouse of some lady's case transcribed. Oh. I was on a mod once and one of the hoist way doors had an advertisement sticker for a tennis restringing service. Which was weird because it was somewhere only an elevator guy should be able to reach. I called the number, but it was out of service. I've found some cool graffiti from the 40s. That's about it. I worked on escalators for a year and a half. There was a lot more in those pits. I was taking home bent up quarters every day. There was lots of shoe bits and I was always nervous of coming across used needles in certain units. Why have so many people in the comments found purple dildos? Not a technician, but do work at a large hotel. A few years ago one of our elevators stopped working. Turned out when they opened it up they found a 3 foot pile of guest folios that were never delivered to the rooms. Later when we looked on the camera we found it was a security guard that got tired of delivering them to the rooms and instead dropped them down the elevator shaft. He did this for months until he was caught. The elevator guys in my dad's office complex found pieces of a dog's skeleton. Not the whole skeleton. Just random parts. Not an elevator repair person. But you would be shocked by the number of nurses that drop their keys down the shaft. 20 stories up and 2 buildings away from the parking garage and they already had their keys in their hand. I had to call maintenance all the time for retrieval. The Chamber of Secrets. At a place where my wife used to work, a body, there was a crash from the elevator area. The boss went to see what it was, came back white as a sheet, and said do not go out there. Two maintenance guys had been working on the elevator. One was in the bottom of the shaft, and the other one made one small error. But I'm guessing the single most unusual item ever found at the bottom of an elevator shaft was a Wright R2600 aircraft engine. On the 28th of July. 1945 in the Empire State Building. Our team dropped a steel anal dilator down the dumbwaiter shaft by mistake. When the technician came down and grabbed it off the floor he'll never forget the look on his face when I told him we need that up here it's got to go in someone's ass soon. It was priceless. I am a technician for a hospital dealing with rectal surgical tools is very normal. There are at least 6 people who saw a purple dildo and everyone left it there. Either all have seen the same purple dildo or purple dildos are more a common sight at the bottom of the elevator's shaft. Absolutely sure everyone is telling the truth. A purple dildo. It was kinda weird. So I just left it. So the next guy will also have the joy of finding it. Edit. I did not expect this to blow up like this lol. TLDR. Turds. Obligatory wasn't an elevator tech but hotel maintenance. Guest reports waterfall sounds an elevator shaft en route to the lobby. Investigation ensues. Some pump at bottom of shaft is running constantly. Water is still coming out of the drain it's connected to after I unplug it. Find out from notes of third shift maintenance that multiple first floor rooms had repeated clogged toilets all night long. Plumber called. 6 inch sewer drain for the entire building is clogged. Worst clog I've seen in 15 years. Washcloths and TP. Over 7 inches of clog in the pipe. Apparently it was clogged so bad that it was backing up into the laundry room. The drain for the elevator shaft in the rooms closest to the main pipe out of the building. First floor suites. Solid turds were left at the bottom of that shaft. I quit about a week later for unrelated circumstances. 
I used to work at an old 22-story building that had the first automated elevator system in our state. The idea was, in order to control the flow of people in the lobby you'd push the button for your floor and the elevator would tell you which one to get on. The elevators would make sure the crowd spread out over the big lobby. Anyway, it was the first time I'd ever seen the auto open eyes used. 2. I worked on the executive floor, where long-winded executives would often stop me as I was leaving. I got used to passing my hand through the doors to break the eye and hold the doors open. You guessed it, my left hand didn't trip the eye. The doors closed on my hand which was prevented from closing completely because of my heavy engagement and wedding rings. Crushed the whole mess and lost a 2-2 carat diamond 22 stories below. My hand was only bruised. Thank goodness for a safety shut off. I like to think that someday, someone will find a tiny treasure. Purple dildo. Left it there. Found a $20 bill in an escalator in a casino once. Still have it. Most elevator pits are just filled with dirt, dust and random bits of trash. Every once in a while somebody drops their keys. Pretty routine. Surprisingly nothing too extreme. Not an elevator tech but I am an electrician so we will find ourselves in a pit from time to time. Some ID badges, credit cards, coins, and I found a red pen. It was out of ink though. One of my baseball coaches when I was a kid lost his glass eyeball in the elevator shaft. Maintenance guy gave a solid WTF. Holy duck this subreddit really never runs out of questions. OP. Genuine interesting question. Reddit. P-U-R-P-L-E. D-I-L-D-O. Not elevator maintenance but one time I dropped a set of wheels for a cart in the crack. I'm sure some maintenance man is going to be concerned to find loose wheels in the elevator of a nursing home. Like some elder person is walking around with a wheel less walker. I found up serious tag. Which he seems to have dropped. Retired 40 years in the trade the best I ever found was a $20 bill but no a man that found a $7000 diamond ring kept it for 6 months no one ever asked about it and he gave it to his wife. I need answers to this. Please don't let it die in you. Work for a major transit hub. We have our own trade departments. I'm an elevating. Weirdest things I have found are as follows. Chucky dollhead. 13 rubber duckies in one pit. Drug needles almost daily. Silicone gimp mask. Every day is an adventure. This plasticky purple thing. Pretty sure it was a dildo or something. I swear to god it looked like a tentacle. Didn't wanna have anything to do with it though. I just kinda nudged it in a corner with my foot. Empty drug bags used condoms needles money discarded lotto tickets. Usually the norm. If you are lucky maybe an infestation of roaches sometimes lol. Pest control tech here. Snakes had gotten into the pit and were climbing up and dropping down on people as they rode the elevator. Good times. A couch. Not joking. It was a walk-in pit that a homeless person had retrofit into a small living room. It depends on the building neighborhood. I've seen everything from dirty diapers. To use needles. Keys. Wallets. Phones. Picture frames. Sandwiches. And I guess the icing on the cake was a Tamagotchi. No. It didn't work. So we typically just trashed everything unless it was valuable. I always turned jewelry into the management's office but I worked with guys who def sold valuables for unsavory purposes. TLDR. The crack between the car and the door sill is a black hole for objects. In 1988, the same bones were rediscovered when a new elevator shaft near the south parking lot on Elm Street was excavated. At that time, 11 skulls and 88 pounds of bones were found on one day, followed by 119 more pounds of bones. The Enquirer reported that they were being stored at the morgue, Cincinnati Music Hall, built on a children's home, built on a potter's field, built on a burial site, built on bulldozed indigenous mounds. Not an elevator technician, but I can tell you some dude. At some point is going to find a Kindle at the bottom of a shaft in a Toronto hotel elevator. Rules to remember. Rule number one. Always check that you zipped your carry-on and didn't leave a gap in the bottom. Rule number two. Kindles fit through small carry-on bag zipper gaps and elevator shaft gaps. 
I'm pretty sure Australia was discovered at the bottom. TL. DR of every comment so far. Purple dildos left for the next guy. I worked as a phlebotomist in a hospital and had just drawn an elderly male patient. As I pushed my little cart into the elevator to go back down to the lab. His blood vials rolled off and both went right down the gap into the shaft. I felt so bad and went immediately back to tell him I had to read all him. He was thrilled. Said he was excited his blood would be down the shaft for eternity. Such a funny guy. I had to clean some bad isolation at the top of the elevator chamber. So the maintenance guy bring the elevator with the top at the second floor and we go on top to drive to the top. On the elevator cabin were a few pairs of women underwear and used condoms. So someone was having sex on the top of the elevator. How the got there was a mystery because it was a very modern one and you need a special key to open the control box to access the top of the elevator. A whole salmon and a king crab. Same kitchen elevator of a seafood restaurant. $100 in $20 bills. Tons of needles and condoms. A large, veiny purple dildo. Left it there for future generations to marvel at. A doll. Sitting upright in a corner. And a little bag of speed. Not in elevator repair. A few months ago we had a floridly psychotic patient. Think staring into space. Can't form a coherent sentence. ETC. Brought into hospital. There was a fire alarm at an apartment building and when fire went in. They somehow found this guy living in an elevator shaft. He had evidently been there for some period of time. Most of his delusions that he was talking about for me, that I could understand, were about time travel and Jesus. So we were joking a bit that he wasn't actually psychotic and was just time traveling Jesus. Once I got to the fourth comment about purple dildos I'm out. Elevator repair man here. I haven't found anything crazy just the normal stuff cockroaches, underwear, and a couple of bucks. But since you're reading this I'll let you in on a little no feature. Elevators have a tipping feature if you slip money down between the sill into the pit the elevator will get you to your floor faster. If you put in enough money it will skip all other calls and bring you right to your floor. You're welcome here. My dad has been an elevator repair man for almost 30 year now. His best find to date was a $12,000 yellow diamond engagement ring. Tried for a while to find the owner. But eventually he got to keep it. Not exactly answer to the question but still related. When we came to call about broken doors we was not expecting that someone for some unknown reason stole one half of elevator's door. Why are there so many dildos in elevator shafts? Here's an obligatory not one of the elevator maintenance folk story. My dad had a razor phone back when they were still cool. Just to annoy him. My mom changed the ringtone to the sound of a meowing cat. My dad absolutely hated it. But didn't change it. Anyway. One day at work. He's getting out of the elevator and accidentally drops his phone into the crack between the elevator car and the doors. He calls maintenance and asks them if they can get his phone back. But they say sorry. We can't do that. So he's standing outside the elevator thinking of what to do when he gets an idea. Running into a nearby office. He asks a co-worker if he can use their desk phone for a second. And proceeds to call his own phone. He does this a few times. A couple minutes later. Someone else hysterically phones security. Saying that there's a cat stuck in the elevator shaft. A few other people in the elevator at the time corroborate the story. So the elevator maintenance folk run the elevator up the shaft and shine some light down there. Meanwhile, my dad and some other people are standing by the open doors to the shaft. Looking downwards. My dad says, Hey, I don't see any cat, but I think I see my phone down there. Can you guys grab it for me? And they do. I am not an elevator maintenance person, but I have been in dozens of elevator shafts for work. I'm a bomb tech. And when I was in the army I did a lot of POTUS VIP missions in conjunction with the secret service. They don't have a bomb squad. So they steal us. It's a great gig. You get to travel all over and stay in some insanely nice hotels. Anyway. The elevator shafts must be cleared to ensure that there aren't any explosive devices. Basically. Any place that POTUS or the VIP will go needs to be checked out. I've done a fair amount of elevator surfing. Which is riding on top of the car. The weirdest and funniest 
thing I've seen was a 12 inch, around that height, Superman figurine that had its feet glued to the top of the elevator. The head was slightly tilted back and the arms were pointed upwards so it appeared like Superman was flying up and away. Whenever the elevator was in use, I have a picture of it saved on an external hard drive somewhere. That it was hilarious. Holy it I asked a guy this at work last night. Wasn't as surprising as I expected. Just a ball. A very large ball. That had no business being able to get down there. Then I asked if he ever left anything strange down there for the next guy. He went quiet and slowly turned to me. Pulling a barbie out of his pocket. A handgun hidden behind the door tracks on the elevator. Many times keys. Tools. Money. Drugs. Tampons. Once I found a dead cat skeleton. Still wonder how he got in. These ask reddit questions are starting to get really specific. I've found ID cards. Keys. Small dead animals. Lizards and rats mostly. Lots of cobwebs. Hypodermic needles. One air pod. And things like that. The weirdest thing I've ever found is a repair guy is a clean pit. The service guys seem to not clean anything. The company where I worked had an old heavy duty freight elevator that was semi abandoned. It was more like an automotive lift with giant pistons embedded in the ground, but installed in an elevator shaft. When they needed to move something huge, they would fill the hydraulics with oil. It took hundreds of gallons to top off the system, including the giant pistons, and then they would use it for a day. Few months later they would try to use it again and find the oil gone. Once, they planned to use it the following day. So maintenance pumped in the oil to get ready. The next day, no oil. They refilled it the morning of the move and got one lift out of it before it stopped. The company knew it was spilling hydraulic oil into the ground under the plant and just did not give a rit. The finally abandoned it for good when the maintenance guys threatened to report the illegal oil dumping.